Hello everyone, and welcome to the uh, long-awaited next episode of Minecraft Modding if you don't know Java. My name's your boy Chips. Uh, today we're going to be doing entities, just like your basic roaming around entity sheep kind of thing. I'll be going through uh, modeling things in Blockbench, uh, uh, throwing in uh, some goals, getting it moving around, and I will also be... Uh, covering uh, data accessors, which are a way to save a certain data to a Minecraft mob. I'll explain later when we get into it. All right, first thing we're going to do is in your common, we are going to create a new package, call it entities. And in here, we're going to go tutorial entity. All right. Um, uh, so we're going to do something that just kind of walks around like a sheep type of thing. So this is going to extend, uh, we're actually going to make extends, sorry, uh, animal, you know, just a generic animal. It'll show up this red line, just hover over it, implement the methods. This is the only method you really, uh, need in order to get it to work. Uh, I think it's the only one I'm going to do for now. All right. Let me just change that to level, oh. level mod. Oh, I'm so sorry. Right, Shift F6 mob. All right. And now, of course, we need to make our constructor animal level. Just a rename for convenience sake. All right. So, uh, first thing we are going to need to do is we are going to need to override uh, register goals. This is so that the mob knows what it needs to do. All right. Uh, underneath the super here, you can actually do it. Anyway, this is more conventional. Let's put it here. Uh, we're going to do this dot goal selector dot add goal. And now you're going to do the priority of the goal and whatever the goals are. So, just the one that makes it, uh, we're going to do one as the priority. The one that just I used for it to walk around is new, water, avoiding random stroll goal. So this will have it walk around the land, but without um, going into water. This, and then 1.0. This is what mob it applies to, and this is the speed modifier. So every mob will have its defined speed when it's created. And this will, when it does the goal, will either add or will multiply. So if you do 1.1, it's 1.1 times. This is just 1.0, so it doesn't affect our mob speed. Um, something else we're going to have it do is we are going to have it do, have a tempt goal. This dot goal selector dot add goal to comma new tempt goal. This is so that it'll follow you around. So uh, we're going to do this. We're going to make the speed about 1.2. I think that's what the sheep does and the cow and all that. Uh, now it asks for an ingredient. So most people would be like, oh, this is where I put my items. So we we'll do items dot. Uh, it wants to follow an acacia log. And then a, a boolean. I'm not 100% sure what the boolean after this is for. Uh... But uh, we're just going to do false. See, it doesn't like this, right? Because it wants an ingredient, not an item. Ingredient is something completely different. Let me... So what you do is you do ingredient. If you ever want to convert just like a single item to an ingredient, you do ingredient dot of, and then item stack. There you go. So now it converts the item into an ingredient. The ingredient, what ingredient is, is it's just a list of items that you can look through. So this way you can put more than one thing that it's tempted by, right? Uh, it's used for uh, also like breeding items or like things that things can eat, like with horses that have multiple of these. Um, I think that's all we're going to do for now for an animal type mob. Oh, right. We need to create the attributes. So, right, create attributes is not an overridable method. That is my bad. Uh, we are going to do a public static uh, attribute supplier. Uh, you spell attributes, two T's. Attribute supplier. 
dot builder create attributes All right, that's the wrong brackets I am a little rusty guys don't mind me oh, we need there and this is going to return mob dot create mob attributes dot add so the attributes that we're going to do are we're going to have it have some attributes dot uh it'll have a max health of six point oh that's six point oh doubles make it a double just to make sure it's a double so that's about six hearts so that'd be 12 health and then we're also going to add attributes dot movement speed and i think um it's like 0 0.25 is about what the sheep is uh, uh, don't quote me on that but i think it's somewhere around there all right, so next we're going to register this just so that we have it for uh, using it in other codes. So we're going to do mob entities. And then this is going to be very similar to uh, here where you have a public static final deferred register of entity type. which is going to take in question mark as a generic. And then that is going to equal deferred register dot... Nope, oh, no, it's deferred register. Dot create. Why do you not like that? Oh, right, because I have to name it. Uh, entity... Oh. Entity underscore types dot create uh, forge registries dot entities comma tutorial mod dot mod id. There we go. So now we make our entities. So it's going to be a public static final. Uh, registry object and then this is going to take in entity type which is going to take in uh, tutorial entity it's a lot of triangle brackets because we're using a lot of generics so this is just going to be called tutorial entity which is going to equal entity type dot register tutorial entity and then it's going to take in a supplier so we type in one of these lambs that lamb does and then here this it's so you see how in blocks we would just do new and then the block this is something different because uh we're trying uh, we're trying to register an entity type and what we have made here is an entity if you go far back enough ageable mob pathfinder mob mob living entity goes all the way back to entity right so what we made is an entity so what we need to do is we need to do entity type the class not the thing up here that you made dot builder Am I stupid? Why did he... Oh, there we go. Builder. Dot of. And then an entity factory, which is just uh, your entity in a supplier. So you can do the lambda um, and then the class. But with how Java works, you can make a supplier that doesn't like take in anything of just like a class uh, with typing the class name so tutorial entity then you do colon colon new sorry if that's getting a little hard to see for you guys 
and then you need the category. So I'm just going to put this on another line so you guys can see it. So the mob category, this is going to be an ambient mob. Why do you not like that? Oh, because it's not public. Now we go to type dot. This is setting the uh, hitbox. So it's going to be one comma one. Just because. Then you do dot build and that. Okay. So there you go. That is your entity there. Uh, and then it's the same as the blocks and everything. We're going to go uh, mod entities dot entity type dot register bus. So now everything, oh, everything in here will be registered. So I actually forgot to do this when I first recorded the tutorial, but uh, really quick, we're going to make a, excuse me, a uh, spawn egg item. So we are going to do a public static file registry object item. Tutorial, uh, tutorial spawn egg equals items.register tutorial spawn egg. This is going to take in you do a lambda a supplier of a new. Oh, I forgot to add a comma. Spawn egg item. So now this takes in the mob, which is mod entities. Dot tutorial entity. Now it takes in two integers. These are your color integers. So it'll take in. Um, like the hexadecimal code, but something else you can do is new color. Just do one, one, one for now. And then it appears here. So you can actually just select the color. And then get RGB, comma, New color, and then we'll grab a different color, which will be that. Get RGB, and then after that, it takes a new item dot properties dot tab tab. There you go. Oh. We're going to put dot .get at the end of there. And now, down in your uh, assets here, uh, it should be in models and then in your item model. I'm going to hit Control N here and go to files and put spawn underscore egg. Sure, axolotl spawn egg, just to look at it. So, you can just copy this new item. No, sorry, not item, new file. Uh, tutorial spawn egg JSON. Paste that in there. And now when you launch the game, you'll have the spawn egg item. Back here, we're finally going to make that breed offspring because it's going, it's a lot. Now that we have it registered, we can. So it's going to be mod, return mod entities, a tutorial entity, dot uh, create oh get dot create sorry because it's a uh, registry object and then this is going to take in the level there you go all right now back over here we are going to actually set up a event a private uh i think static void register attributes and then oh, let me attributes and this is going to be a entity attribute creation event is I'm pretty sure what it's called
Give me two seconds to double check. Okay, yep, that is correct. So then we're going to do event dot put the mod entities dot tutorial entity dot get comma tutorial entity dot create attributes dot build because it's a builder. All right. And now up here, we can add. We're going to do it under here, so it does it after. Bus.addListener. This, colon, colon. Register attributes. And it's not supposed to be static. My bad. So now, theoretically, if we were to launch our game and try to summon this, it would appear. But it also wouldn't, because it doesn't have a model. So we're going to get into modeling in the next episode, which will come out at the same time as this one, so you guys don't have to wait, uh, I don't know, a couple months. <laughs> hey, thanks for watching.